Welcome to Friend for the Artists. Today we set up for black ink painting, or an adapted form of Chinese painting. The first item on your shopping list should be Somi ink. To use the techniques we are showing it must be Somi ink, a non-waterproof ink. This important because other types of ink won't wash away. This is also the traditional ink used in East. I have had good luck with Yasutomo. Now I will be demonstrating and using the traditional Sumi ink and ink stone as well. You can find them at your hobby stores and at Amazon. Mine's a bit used but you will recognize them on the web. Tages, Gao Shea can work but that will be a much more expensive option. Now the magic that will give you the capability to practice. Without using reams of paper, the magnetic eraser board works great with Sumi ink. Make a mistake, wipe it off carefully. Don't worry, we're going to photograph the final piece as well as the ones that don't look so good. Now we are going to start with the end. To prove this training will work, I've painted a test demo of a black ink painting. I've even used the Sumi ink in an airbrush to give it a vignette. It's a test painting. As you see it wipes off with water and a cloth. Now that we've smeared it all over, I can see it is going to take a large cloth capable of removing a lot of ink. I can tell you it's working exactly as it is supposed to work. We purposefully left the magnets on this board. To prove I was using a magnetic board. Why is this board so key? Well, you see, when we get to the airbrushing videos, we will find ad channel techniques which require magnetic properties. In a moment, we are going to turn the camera off and finish washing the board off in the kitchen. Now this is an old board for demonstrations. We wanted to test the cheapest board with a cardboard back. Other boards can use melamine board for backing. It's just a great hack for training. We will show you a before and after. The second half of this video isn't necessary to watch. It's a replay with our overall intentions with this training. We just want to ensure our audience is clear where we are going with all of this. This is before and after cleaning the board. See, it works great. As we promise coming soon. A Western adaptation of Sumi E, or black ink painting. Here's a short replay in case you missed it. Before we continue, the document to our right is a 300 year mastery manual. Can you guess the name of this very precious book of the East? Before the end of this video, we have a technique of Sumi E, or black ink painting, that's never been done or published on the internet. We will be premiering a video with this technique on or before the 1st of September. We think this technique has a chance to go viral on the internet. Here's some hints. It's an American modification to a highly respected Eastern tradition. It's a way to practice this art in a spiritual way without having to resort to Zen beliefs or become Buddhist. We found a way to apply these techniques with a Christian perspective without offending other cultures and beliefs. Then our techniques allow unlimited practice for the price of the bottle and a brush. We've found techniques to apply these inks on dry erase boards, matte film or duraler then wipe them clean. Don't worry your camera can capture well done works. Please subscribe and click on the bell for notifications. Well we're here, have you ever researched your brains out? Sumi so E, Chinese painting, Korean painting, or how I simply name it, black ink painting. It's very mysterious to us Westerners yet it's hidden in plain sight. It's everywhere in the East. Chapter 1 Respecting an Ancient Art Form After I researched it, I thought wow this material is open to so much scrutiny and prejudices I might become the most hated person in the world. However, there is a way to present this. To educated minds on YouTube without offense, the approach is simple. I'll call it black ink painting. I must stress my approach is purely a personal and adapted example. I will carefully approach it with the respect it deserves. The problem isn't because the practice of black ink painting is difficult. You actually get immediately satisfying results. No matter your skill level, in fact, it's the most liberating activity for artists to experience. Note I said experience. This is something that's very awesome to watch, but the experience of it is priceless. What makes this a minefield? Well, black ink painting is tied to every Eastern politics, philosophy, and religion. Their calligraphy is very much integrated into their paintings. What's really beautiful is their poetry is as well. 
They are seldom inseparable. My adaptation will be American. I'm not going to pretend I'm Chinese, a Buddhist, or anything remotely linked to Eastern practices even though I will take each method of their practice seriously. I can't help but be intensive on discovering every practice and method because the beauty they produce does deserve more attention than the world has given it. I also feel many Americans who chose to practice this art inject some snob-like pretense into it. This art is for all people not for exploitive purposes nor for religious agendas masked as a control mechanism. Here's friend for the artist's adaptations in a clear statement loaded after those disclaimers. Again, we aren't suggesting this to be your style. First, I'm not going to criticize or judge any religious practice. That's God's job. It's a hands-off topic. I'm thrilled when any person is seeking the light, a higher power, or trying to connect with the universe. I love it when anyone has a moral compass as they are, prone to love. I am going to transfer these Eastern methods to my Christian-based perspective. I invite you to adapt them the way you believe as well. Definitely not my way. It's easily achieved if you meditate on the concepts for your own methods of integration into your practice. Just use me as a model. Modern methods I will be applying and using old and traditional tools then transforming methods to modern tools to work with as well. For instance, I will use modern paints, supports, flat brushes, liners, and airbrushes. Modern methods digital tablets as well. Then I plan on going digital, mimicking these tools as well as inventing more in the digital art world. I will be challenging and even using AI. In the very advanced methods, AI doesn't have spirit so be comforted we will produce works far. Greater than I, I can. Be prepared to copy the masters. Uh, will not copy copyrighted work. I will have a separate video on my beliefs of copying. Anything not done by living artists, in other words. Deceased artists must be copied, studied and interpreted. Did you know? It ensures the future of the original. And ensures the future of others to follow. In fact at my age this is my goal. Which is to produce something worthy of copy and studying. That's really the true value of any work we do today. Money is only a tool enabling us to live and create an inheritance for those coming after we pass. You got this. I also believe everyone is a teacher and a student. Did you know? When I'm doing either of these things, I consider myself a friend. I share my discoveries. So this is the difference between my channel and others. I prefer to be called a friend, mentor, or coach. Not teacher, not master, an authority, nor student. What now? Well, I do have a playlist on my channel with a couple of examples of other channels. Always check my playlist as I never assume I've shared everything there is on the subject. Even if I chose to make this the only topic on the channel, I couldn't cover it all. Topics are vaster than China. Now, you can window shop at various stores for the brush you need. If you want me to list the products I'm familiar with, I will. Just ask me in the comments. Your city's oriental stores can have supplies. Amazon, Cherry's Autorama, Dick Blick, Hobby Lobby and Michaels are good sources. Please click on that bell when you subscribe so you will get notified when the video is released. I am anxious to get any comments you may have. Please feel free to ask me questions. Someone here at Friend for the Artists will promptly reply. Coming soon, more tips on cameras, art techniques and gathering resources to produce your next masterpiece. Oh, this book is called The Mustard Seed Garden Manual.